Hey everybody, welcome back to another wood shaped video. So about two years ago, I got a mother load of a bunch of woodworking tools, supplies and so forth for the shop. One of those was a front cabinet maker's vise. And so I've had that thing for about two years and just not getting around to installing it. And so I was able to get all that done the last couple of days. And so I wanted to share the video with you of installing that vise. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you at the end. So I started out by assessing what type of lumber I had and so I have this huge piece of hard maple on hand which uh, works out perfectly since um, I need the, the weight of the wood to kind of hold the bench down even though it won't be nearly the weight that I actually need for the workbench. I started out by cutting it to rough length on the miter saw. I then made two sides flat so that I could get a good rip down the middle of the piece. Once I had my final piece of choice, I went ahead and jointed plane, made it completely square, and then cut it to the exact length that I would need for the workbench top. Next, it was time to flip the workbench top over as I'd be installing this upside down. So I marked the center point of the apron as well as the, the workbench top so that I ensure that I get this apron centered with the workbench. I also marked the vise where it needed to go, the locations on the apron, so that I would know where to drill my holes. All my holes drilled for the vise bars here and then these holes drilled to get the cable piece attached and then I'll just use the vise itself and the vise block to keep this in place and I'll drill my holes to secure this to the table and we'll be good to go.
I hope you enjoyed that little workbench improvement. It's definitely a huge improvement for me and it will be so convenient to have that vise for chiseling, for hand planing, and just anything you would need a vise for on a workbench. Now one thing to keep in mind on this example is my workbench is fairly light and so when I do hand plane, the bench tends to shake and so in the future I plan on adding additional weight to the workbench to make it more stable. Um, this is kind of a quasi workbench uh, evolved from two sawhorses, the sawhorses that I made a year, year and a half ago or something like that. And so then I just put on a workbench top on those. And so it's kind of evolving into something somewhat unique for my shop. But instead of investing money in something else and building a different one, I just thought, well, I'll just go ahead and add on to what I have. And so it's working out well for me. If you enjoyed that video, go on and get subscribed to the channel. Like the video, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. I always enjoy reading and responding to the comments. Also, click that bell notification so that you get updates for when I post future videos so you don't miss out when I post my next video. I really appreciate you watching and remember until next time, go shape some wood and we'll see you again soon.